the total acceleration. So what I've told you is there are two components. One, for instance, the centripetal pointing down. Another one, maybe this is the tangential part pointing over. And you put those two sides of the triangle together and you get the total acceleration. These are just right triangles again. You can find this angle. You can use the Pythagorean theorem. You do the same thing you've done with other vectors. Let's talk about a problem here. A car is slowing down at a rate of six meters per second square. Notice this word, slowing and then down. That means we've got speed change. Rate of six meters per second squared. That's an acceleration. What acceleration? Tangential, because it said slowing down. So six meters per second squared. If this is the velocity, then the tangential acceleration points that away. Then it says it's on a circular radius track of radius 100 meters. So it know that R is 100 meters. And it says it is slowed down to a speed of 20 meters per second. So 20 meters per second. Well, it's got an acceleration downward, the centripetal acceleration. I can find that. AC is V squared over R. So that's 20 meters per second. Square that. Divide by 100 meters. And I get 4 meters per second squared. So let's see. I've got in this problem 4 meters per second like this. 6 meters per second like that. So I have a total acceleration with some angle theta. The total acceleration can be found by the Pythagorean theorem. AC squared plus AT squared. 4 meters per second squared. I need to square that. And I need to add that to 6 meters per second squared. So the acceleration is 7 point, let's see, square root of 52, a little bit more than 7, punch my calculator, and I get 7.21 meters per second squared. And to find the angle phi, I mean theta, theta would be the tan inverse of 6 meters per second squared, oops, I lost some unit problems up here, over 4 meters per second squared, and punch my calculator, and I get 56.3 degrees. So, the answer is 7.21 meters per second squared. And let's see, where it depends on how you want to do it. As long as I put that angle there, it's okay. If you don't put the angle there, then I would actually need to add this angle to 270 degrees and write it like this at 300 270 326.3 degrees all right we'll pick up this on our next video